You worked in the Trade Representative's Office. You worked at WTO. Give us a hint about why the, the exact substance of this agreement seems to be rather difficult to figure out. Yeah, it's not clear to anybody exactly what the president's talking about of this uh, unannounced sort of trade measures that the Mexicans have agreed to. It's clear that they did agree to some things on the immigration side, uh, uh, but a lot of that were things that were already in the works or that had been agreed to earlier, or, or frankly, that Mexico probably could have done in a cooperative arrangement with the U.S. without this threat of tariffs. But as far as some new uh, export opportunities, look, you know, the big challenge for the U.S. now is to get back the markets we lost when we uh, had the fight over steel and aluminum. We, we already had huge agricultural exports to Mexico as our fastest growing and biggest agricultural export market. So hopefully we get those back. But I don't know about any additional measures China, uh, Mexico needs to take to have that uh, come about. Well, and I add on top of that the fact that the president keeps saying, well, for now, but we may change our minds. And in fact, in the joint communique that they issued, it specifically said further action would be taken if this didn't succeed. So what does that do to a businessman trying to decide how to do or whether to do business with and in Mexico? Yeah, business is not taking much comfort from the fact that, that the president for the moment has pulled back, because if you saw his recent uh, uh, tweets today, He's still clearly enamored with the idea of using tariffs whenever he wants for whatever policy goals he wants, and he believes they're good for the U.S. economy. Uh, and so business is still prepared that this might escalate at any point. On the other hand, I think it was clear from the overwhelming reaction against uh, his using this on Mexico that really his ability to actually withdraw uh, NAFTA or withdraw tariff benefits in our relationship with Mexico is probably diminished. Um, you know, I think the, the Congress uh, was showing a much, much greater uh, resistance to this and much greater likelihood that they would overturn his action. Business was prepared to bring legal challenges against it. You know, everybody's accepted that he's going to have an ongoing tariff fight with China. They don't like it. There's limits to what they want to see there. But I think in disrupting our biggest and best trading relationships with our North American partners, he's going to find it more and more difficult to use the tariff threat.